Hello and welcome to this video playing Uptown Girl. Yeah, I played him probably <laughs> still um, just recently. Don't remember what that was. Okay, we got a Tori attack. Going to play quickly here. Yeah, Bishop a6 I'd like to prevent. Okay, he cannot sacrifice, right? I always got rook f7, so that doesn't work. Bishop e6, f takes, queen takes, rook f7. Yeah. Could have played knight h5 actually. <clears throat> I should have also. Okay, I can go b5 now. Expand a little bit on the on the queen side. Hmm. I'd like to get the bishop there, but he always has bishop h4. So this is also pretty okay. Hmm. Maybe now, right? If if he goes bishop h4, I have knight f4. The knight only three, that looks a little bit more attractive. Okay. I'm happy to take the bishop pair. Why not? So, um, yeah, can go e5 here even, even though that opens up his bishop. But okay. Let's first um, improve the bishop here a little bit. Here also, bishop g7, rook 88, centralize a little bit more. It's not quite clear what he is doing. Oh, this one, okay. Where are you going with this? Okay, I think I'm doing this, trying to trade. Mm -hmm. He's not trading. Maybe I can get a5 before. Hmm. Yeah, it would be really helpful if I would vaguely understand what this is all about. I can also just come on. I'm playing for e5 here. Yeah. If he is uh, shuffling around his, his stuff here, I'm going to open it up. back or is there anything better yeah, that's probably okay um, yeah of course yeah, you can just do that but yeah okay I'm kicking him back Spending the, the biggest um, danger against these kind of players who just shuffle around without any particular purpose is to <laughs> you try to do something and then you get get time time issues. Check. I mean he's mostly just shuffling around and doing not much. If you try to refute it in in, in, in entirely, then you often Check. will will pay with uh, Check. with time issues. So I'm just getting this good end game now and see what I can do can do from here. Bishop goes around. King f2 is cool. Bishop c5. <laughs> okay, b4. Yeah, 
Yeah, some weaknesses there. Let, let me let me think about this for just a moment damn what is the best way to do that bishop d2 takes takes i will yeah bishop d2 is good check Okay, so what now f4 maybe? Uh, yeah, I want to limit that, limit that knight. Knight is dominated by the bishop. Okay, so He's shooting for b6. This is this is actually precise. Draw offered. Yeah, yeah. This is this is winning. So that the bishop can go back to e5. Knight b1 maybe to continue. Um, so c3. No, yeah, okay, easiest is Time to, warning. to just take it first. And then see from here, I think I can go up to b3. Bishop e3 check and c3 c2 is uh, not easy to prevent. Check. Check. It's not super Check. exciting, but what can you do? White resigns. Okay. No. Yeah, it, there wasn't. Uh, he, I mean, yeah, I'm sorry. I probably get comments about that, but he's just ma basically shuffling around without any particular idea. And the main thing is you have to be be quite quick so that you don't lose on time, and keep your slight advantages like here. With the uh, with the two bishops and um, yeah, it is it is slightly better for black, but it's nothing particularly. Uh, yeah, it's not winning or anything. F five is probably probably good, but I wanted to, as I check. said in the commentary, be quick about it. Check check. And I got this great end game, which he immediately. Um, I mean, it is bad for white anyway, but. He immediately uh, turned it into a loss after after uh, after b4 after b4 white is completely losing and it was played immediately almost and it's quite clear that it's lost because th those two pawns are not going to be uh, going to be held he has to has to stay put here with knight d3 which is of course um, a big torture but it's what he has to do my majority here is far more dangerous and have easy ideas, centralizing the king and pushing the pawns forward. Yeah, and here this is just a loss. Check. F4, yeah, so that knight e3, c4 is not getting the pawn back. Yeah, 
it's a pretty pretty clear cut Check. clear cut loss yeah it's uh, against the, those those queen pawn openings sometimes people play it with some ambition okay that's good but sometimes they just uh, want to shuffle around and do nothing and against those you have to be um you have to have some patience it's not so easy to get something quickly something concrete but um just trying to yeah get something that is a little bit better yeah having the bishop pair or some slight edges and then try to be quick is the best strategy which sometimes i'm not getting <laughs> yeah i'm just thinking too long trying to get more 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 instead of um, playing a small advantage um quickly i think i did this quite okay in this game i mean it was down on time anyway but it wasn't um to some dramatic uh, proportion and it was relatively easy to play okay thanks for watching